Hi, <clears throat> it's um, Nadine Nellon here, and I'm doing another oral today. I decided to make one. Um, I did one about Copaiba. This one's about clary sage. I've been using this oil lately. I've been testing it, and uh, it has a very a woody, spicy, kind of like scent. Um, this is how the plant looks like. You see that? That's the clary sage. So it is made by steam distillation from a plant of the flowers of this plant. But it, it, it's not a typical, I wouldn't call it a very flowery scent. Now, the reason I started using it is this is a typical um, female. So guys, you can stop watching. Although, no, wait, it's also, guys can get, you know, also hormonal stuff, right? Um, so, first of all, yeah, it is made from steam distillation of the flowering plant. And it is related to the mint, the uh, labiate, um, so a type of mint. And you can actually see that. I find you can see that. So, the properties anti-convulsant, anti-fungal, antiseptic, antispasmodic, astringent, nerve tonic, sedative, soothing, tonic, and warming. So there's a lot of things that are good, that this flower um, has as properties. Um, and the historical use, I think it's quite interesting. It was nicknamed Clear Eyes, and it was famous during the Middle Ages for it, its ability to clear eye problems. Now, don't go and pour that in your eye. I haven't tested that. If you ever get an essential oil in your eye, the only way to get it out is to use oil. Go and get a neutral oil, like a fractionated coconut oil, and pour that in in your eye okay don't don't put it in your eye um during the same time like in the middle ages it was widely used for female complaints kidney digestive skin disorders inflammation sore throats and wounds uh, this oil may be used for aminory I think that's when you bleed too much. Cell regulation, circulatory, circulatory problems. My English is shocking. Depression, insect bites, kidney disorders, dry skin, throat, ulcers, whooping cough. Okay. So um, the main reason, um, and you can use this for consumption, it says here. It is actually recognized as safe, G-R-A-S, for human consumption by the FDI, that's for the people in the States, and it gives the number here. So you can have one drop of oil in four ounces of liquids, but it's not for kids or it's not for when you are pregnant. Now, I find it the best oil for hormonal balance to say quickly i could correct the whole thing but it's it's amazing what it what even just sniffing it 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 brings calm and there is an oil called balance but this one actually and i usually what i do a lot of oils i do them on my wrist and then i roll it on this bracelet which is like lava stones so then if i need it, another sip during the day or also, I like to put it there between my ears. Um, if you have pain during menstruation, put it on your belly. If you get hot flushes, make a roller ball. Put it also behind the ears, on the neck, back of the neck, um, or sit on the belly, or just put a drop in, in water and, and just drink it, you know? It, it, it really balances out, I find, your hormones. Um, I hope that is compliant. I have to, when I make videos, I have to make sure I see stuff that's compliant. That's why as a basis, as I said, I used the book. The first one I use, maybe I'll show you the cover, is Modern Essentials Handbook, which I find a really great go-to book to find in general what the air is all about. And then this is one that I work a lot with, the Emotions uh, and Essential Oil book. When I look up here, what clary sage is, it's the oil of clarity and vision. 
So um, it assists individuals in changing their perception. Now, when I work with clients, it's one of the main things I always do is change people, their per perception. Because when we stick with our story, which is our perception, we suffer. When we get stuck in, I'm a, I've been victimized in that part of, of I've been the perpetrator. It could be either or. It's a story. So it's a form. Nice it's, here. Um, it's nice to live in the tropics, but you occasionally get a muzzy that wants to go on the video. But I'm wearing terra armor, so it's not landing on me. Normally I would have been bitten by now, but go away because I didn't put it on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, so a change of perception is, is a way to get out of the suffering, I find. Um, it gives courage to see the truth. One of the finest oils for the brow chakra. Clary Sage dispels darkness and illusions, helping individuals to see their limiting belief systems. Clary Sage encourages individuals to remain open to new ideas and new perceptives. Perspectives, not perce perceptions and perspectives. Um, it can assist during a healing crisis when a drastic change of perspective is required. And I always remember Eckhart Tolle when I went to see him and he spoke about how as women, we have every month this amazing opportunity to work with the pain body because we do get a change of perception due to our hormones and, and how we can really start to identify with a, um, with a pain body. And so this is where this will assist because this is each time a healing crisis you go through. Um, it opens the soul to new possibilities and experiences. It assists in opening creative channels and clearing creative blocks. So for those who want to hear the name again, it is Clary Sage. Um, it teaches the spirit how to use its divinely given gifts and is especially helpful in clarifying spiritual vision. It assists in developing the gift of discernment. Clary Sage invites individuals to expand their vision and accept the reality of the spiritual world, which is that only love is real, which is that we are, part of us is still one with pure spirit. Um, we identify with our brain, with our thinking mind, with our logical mind, which is basically the computer that goes with the body. It is not who we are. We hear a voice in our head. So that's not us, that voice that we hear judging. So become aware of that when you do that judging thing with the brain, because it's not the real you. You are the awareness of it. And go into that place and go, oh, I can see that I am, and that's it. Anything you add to that is going into a story, is stepping into a belief, this I am, that I am not. And realize that that is what we do constantly. That is what is our human condition. And then you kind of like see the fertility of holding on to very aggressive judgments about how things should be. And, and then you can say, is it true? Is it really true? Is that the only possibility? Maybe there's an, a different way. What if I am connected with everybody else? What if we are all one? How will I act from that space? What if I come from a, a place of pure love? What would love do in this situation? And this is not easy because you cannot also go and over-spiritualize stuff. Those who've been following me for a while, they know I do not over-spiritualize. But there is a time where we have to be aware of our oneness and that what you do to another is what you do to yourself. Always. There's no exception in that one. Um, so this can help with negative emotions, the Clary Sage, confused, darkness, spiritually disconnected, hopeless, blocked creativity. 
um, then the spiritual clarity that's the positive ones intuitive open-minded um, imaginative and spiritually discerning you can blend it with lemongrass black pepper juniper berry rosemary and melissa that's nice things to blend it with so um yeah this can be a said use on the forehead when you go and meditate and then i like to sometimes think of um and this is from marianne williamson she often says people we are like the aspen trees we all seem separate you see all these trees but actually there's only one aspen tree because they're all connected under under what you see when you go underneath and you go at the earth level all aspen trees are connected as one organism so i like to think of us as human beings the same we are all separate but part of us a part where we are connected to our spirituality with oneness is where we are all connected yeah and clary sage will help with that as it will with any hormonal issues that might be coming up bye for now and see you on my next video